Hello, I'm Michael Bruin, sitting in for Austin Heyman. Welcome to Seniors Today, a monthly program produced by the Commission on Aging and devoted entirely to issues and interests of Montgomery County seniors. This month, we talk with not one, but two department heads about many things that the county is doing for seniors, and we've invited Helen Abrams to come back on the show and talk about relationships with your grandkids. But first, I am particularly pleased to welcome Rona Kramer to the show. She is the Secretary of, of Aging for the Maryland Department on Aging. I didn't do that right. Maryland Department you? of Aging. Secretary. Maryland Department of Aging. And a, and a local person. That's so right. let's start, well, we were teasing in the green room, but your dad was county executive. That's right. Your brother is in the house. You, you were involved with politics as well, and now you're at the state level. How did that happen? I served in the Senate for eight years I on know. the Budget and Taxation Committee. And, uh, how, did it, you, how did you get? Our, our parents taught us that you have no right to complain if you don't get involved. And so, hence we have. Well, yeah, but how did you get to the state level? Were you, were you particularly I, interested? or? I had always said I would never run for public office, and uh, but uh, there was some redistricting done, a new Senate seat was created, and the two gentlemen who were running for that seat that was in my district uh, had different views on uh, roads, business, taxes than I did. And so I decided uh, that I would have to because to I had no right to complain if I didn't get uh -huh. involved. So I had to run and uh, I talked to my daughters. They were little at the time and said we'd do it as a team. And they agreed. So um, I threw my hat into it. And, and you, I, you knew about this because your dad was on the council and then was county executive. I mean, you guys grew up with involved, him being, yes. And your mom started the executive ball for uh, raising money for arts and humanities here in the county. So your mom was, yeah. and she was a beautiful she person. She was like Grace Kelly. Oh, thank you. Except in meetings when she wanted things done a certain way. <laughs> then she was tough. She could be tough. It's just, right. in my opinion, I've worked for the county now for almost 30 years, and I remember your, your parents very fondly. Thank you. Let, okay, the reason you're here is for this department, which is a relatively new department, right? About 16 years? I, I it's, am guessing It's relatively something. new um, in the concept of state government, yes. Okay, yeah. and what's the purpose? The purpose of the Department of Aging is to allow Maryland's residents to age in the community. Mm -hmm. And that serves two wonderful purposes. One, nobody looks forward to moving into a nursing home. Everyone right. prefers to age in place. As, so, as my parents do who are in their 80s. It's, it's wonderful. Right. And uh, so not only is it altruistic in that that serves our social purpose, but it also saves Medicaid $76 thousand dollars per year per, per person, person. that we keep right. in right. the community as opposed to entering a skilled nursing facility. So, and half of that Medicaid money comes from the state. Half is federal, half is state. So it is in our best interest to spend m uh, much less than that $76,000 to assist people to stay at home. And some of that assistance, I imagine, would be, you know, shop driving or shopping or? We have a huge myriad of, of programs, and uh, they are anything from nutrition to bringing meals into people's homes if they sure. need it, congregate meals in senior centers, uh, supporting people who are living in senior congregate housing with uh, some services that they may need for bathing or housework. Uh, we do case management mm -hmm. to help people get through the um, all of the different uh, issues that they're dealing with, whether it's depression, special needs in their home, sure. making the home safe sure. for someone. Like a ramp or something that they ramps, might need if, um, if it's bars not accessible. In the, Right, uh, handlebars through the house. So well, I know Montgomery County, and I think Uma is outstanding, our Director of Health and Human Services, and Jay Kenny, who focuses on senior issues and disability issues. But 
uh, how do you how do they work with you? How how does it go from state down to county? Great question. The government, the federal government, and state government fund us, and then we do at the department, right. and then we do our work through area agencies on aging throughout the state. And how many of those? There are you? 19 of them. Okay. And they're the boots on the ground. Gotcha. They're the ones who actually do the work. Gotcha. We determine what programs need to be done, how the money should be spent, but the work is done in the 19 area agencies. And that works well, number one, because um, th there are different program needs in different, different parts of the state. Sure. So, whereas Montgomery County has an issue of needing people who speak many languages in order to interact, sure. that's a special. Uh, requirement in Montgomery County that becomes expensive right. uh, on the Eastern Shore they are losing caregivers as like children County. move or culvert some of the, but especially on the Eastern Shore really? where a lot of the children are moving to the uh, Western Shore of the state in order to find work it's leaving parents without children there to assist them no support. so they have some special needs in Garrett County uh, it's very rural. They deal with very difficult winters, and they have their own needs. So, so it's complicated and and very individualized. So our area agencies on aging can s deal with the specialization required in their jurisdiction, and many of our jurisdictions add local money to that which is um, received from the state. Do they report to you then? All of the, the 19 yes. groups have to report to you? Yes, they. we have to oversee their program work. Yeah. And, uh, and we have great area agencies on aging, but I can tell you Montgomery County is right there at the top with uh, the best that we have in the state. Montgomery County adds a tremendous amount of local funding which is wonderful. Right. Not all jurisdictions can or right. do. Right, right. And um, and Montgomery County has amazing uh, leaders here and, and amazing staff and do a wonderful job. They have programs here in Montgomery County that uh, other jurisdictions just don't. And it's not just because I'm biased and I grew up in Montgomery County. No, you really, and it's a real pleasure and honor to have you, Secretary Kramer, to come on the show with us, and it would be fun to do it again sometime. Maybe we can invite to. Ben, and the, <laughs> we could have the two Kramers together. I think that would be lovely. Yeah, nothing but trouble. It would be fun. Oh, that would be fun. But thank <laughs> you so much for your time. Uh, absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful information. Uh, when we return, we'll talk about what two departments in Montgomery County are doing to bring services to county seniors. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Looking for a way to get around downtown Silver Spring? Hop on the Route 28 Van Gogh Free Circulator. The Route 28 Van Gogh Free Circulator provides rides Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to midnight and Friday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. Fast, convenient, and free. There's no better way to get around downtown. To find out more information about the Route 28 Van Gogh Free Circulator, including route information, visit us online or dial 311. In Montgomery County, we have a goal to reduce waste and recycle 70% of all waste by 2020. By recycling and reducing waste, we save natural resources and make our community even better. So recycle at home, work, school, everywhere, and keep recycling going. For more information, call the Montgomery County, Maryland Division of Solid Waste Services at 311 or visit montgomerycountymd.gov slash recycling. Keep it going. Recycle more now. Did you know there are more than 10,000 county government phone numbers? But there's only one number you need to remember for non-emergency calls, 311. MC311 is Montgomery County government's online telephone information system. Need information? Have a problem or complaint? Trying to locate a county government facility? Call 311. The call center is open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The website is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.
Welcome back to Seniors Today. I'm Michael Bruin, sitting in for Austin Heyman. We really have a high-powered show today, and I'm very pleased to welcome two county department directors, Uma Alawalia, director of Montgomery County's Department of Health and Human Services, and Gabriel Abernos, the director of the county's Parks and Recreation Department. And thank you guys for being here. Thanks, Michael. Thank How'd I do with the name? You did great. Did I get it? Yes. Good. Nailed it. You did. Well, you, one, th one thing I should tell the audience is, I mean, you guys are really have large departments and a lot of responsibilities, but you're down to earth. So I know you as Uma right. and mm -hmm. Gabe, mm -hmm. and you guys are like that, you're, oh, you know. Nice. So you're really, it's in, you have a, a lot of influence and a lot of responsibilities, and yet you're mom and dad and... Mm -hmm you know, care about your kids at the same time. You really are a powerhouse, mm -hmm. both Thanks. of you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, you know uh, Secretary Kramer, and uh, so you work at all the different levels. Just so people understand, what's the connection with seniors with Health and Human Services and then recreation? What Are there mm -hmm. connections? Sure, so... It's the same population. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, so the Department of Health and Human Services has a whole service area for aging and disability services. And the focus is on people who are 50 and older, 55 and older, 60 and older, 80 and older. It depends on where the funding comes in, for what age group. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of programming, and this is where Gabe and I probably intersect the most for vital aging, for people who are young retired folks who have a lot to give back to the community, a lot, lot to do with community engagement. They are involved in a whole host of volunteer activities, on healthy aging opportunities. And then there's a continuum of services for people who are maybe frailer and more homebound and want to age in their own communities, if possible, age in their own homes. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole menu of services that they need to keep them as healthy and independent as possible. Yeah. And so the State Department on Aging, which gets federal dollars as well, then as you heard Secretary Kramer say, send the money through the area agencies on aging, and that organization sits within the Department of Health and Human Services. And then you get money, you go for money from the county to supplement yes. all of that. Yes, we're not sure money from the every county. Budget. This and county is very generous and very committed to its seniors. And, and council's very active. You're over there, I'm watching you on, on council sessions, committee sessions, quite yeah, a bit. They should be an office up there. You know, <laughs> I know they should. Speaking of healthy, mm -hmm. tell me about your interaction with seniors. So, seniors are the second largest demographic we serve within the Department of Recreation. We just recently opened up our sixth senior center at mm -hmm. the North Potomac Community Recreation Center, which mm -hmm. we're thrilled and excited about. And we have um, hundreds of programs and services that are geared to our older adult population, all of which are accessible and popular and high in demand. And as our senior population grows in the county, we're seeing the demands for those programs and services increase exponentially. And so we're well positioned as an agency to help with health and wellness issues and really do our best to help improve the quality of life of our county residents. And you really, I mean, I'm going to let people know that about a year ago we had the second senior summit, and you both were the co-chairs. I mean, what, whatever it was, it was because of you two that this got put together. Mm -hmm. you, you were the ones to put this all together, and there were. So you got feedback from the from the people you serve. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things that came out of that summit? Maybe that that uh, you think it was helpful to hear from seniors, and that you're now implementing. So mm -hmm. the, the Senior Summit was also the kickoff of Montgomery County joining the World Health Organization Age-Friendly Cities Initiative. Mm. And also we joined the Dementia Friendly Initiative. And so what, what that did for us was sort of create recognition for the work that we've been doing under the executive senior sub cabinet for about eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gabe and I have been co-chairs of that work for about the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. Right. And it, wow. through that process, um, we've really been working on, we started by working on eight sort of areas of work. Um, you know, home and community-based services, community engagement, public safety, making sure seniors are safe. Um, it goes on in uh, economic development and job opportunities for seniors. Um, there Tra are these housing, transportation. So there were like these eight areas. 
And then once we joined Age Friendly, we added two more, one particularly having to do with planning and making sure that as the county plans, it's anticipating the needs of seniors. Mm -hmm. um, we anticipate that we'll have 244,000 seniors in our community by the year 2040. So that's a lot of folks who are going to need that would age be friendly. A, that would be a quarter, age a quarter of what the current population of the entire of county, the county is. is. That's, that's exactly right. right. We're, a, we're mm -hmm. a million. So we're at about 122,000 now, so it's almost going to double. Exactly. Right, um, by wow. that time. So, so um, and then the, the second one had to do with really focusing on vulnerable populations who are vulnerable for abuse or neglect, yeah. senior populations. So those were the two that we added. Mm -hmm. but, in a, but for the most part, the recognition actually acknowledged how much we were already doing mm -hmm. and how supportive this community really is and friendly for people to age in the community. Mm -hmm. so. It was a great summit, and yeah. I think it was clear that the county executive's leadership in this area is a highlight of this administration. What he's been able to accomplish despite the challenging fiscal times is truly remarkable, mm. and he's really encouraged strong collaboration among all of the county agencies within the executive branch, but also has really wanted us to think more creatively about partnerships with the nonprofit sector, the private sector, the state, and at the federal level as well. And I think you see evidence of that across the entire county. Some of the interesting takeaways for me from the summit were the parallels between what our older adult population wants and our millennial population really? wants. Really? You've got folks that want to be able to walk to uh, a good restaurant, to get a good cup of coffee, to uh -huh. walk to transit and not have to search or a parking space for hours on end. and. They want to be where the action is. Mm -hmm. And so I think there are tremendous opportunities moving forward to think creatively about how to serve our senior population. I know, and they're very demanding. Having you know been with the county a while, I know mm -hmm. d demanding in all the departments. Mm -hmm. But you know, with recreation, I think the seniors really want to participate. Senior centers don't look like what they, my mind would yeah. think. It's not the stereotype at all. Well, you, that's absolutely true. Very and active. We're, we're going through an internal rebranding process right now yep. um, because what we also heard through the Senior Summit and other surveys that we've done is that our younger seniors um, don't necessarily want to walk through that front door. Uh -huh. uh, and I, you know, my parents, God love them, uh -huh. whom I care about deeply, um, probably wouldn't access one of our programs and services just based on its name. Once you exactly. walk through those doors, you then realize you know. how terrific it is. But then you know. Um, so we're, we're and, and if you go into our aquatic facilities during the day, sure. it feels like you're in a senior center, and it's fantastic. People working so, out. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both for taking the time this morning to come by and uh, give us some information. Uma, Gabe, mm -hmm. wonderful. Thank, thank you, you, Michael. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. When we come back, we'll close the show today with a special interview about grandparents. So please stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey, mister, down here. You illegally passed the stop school bus. I'm placing you in timeout. And this timeout means big fines, plus you really could have hurt somebody. That's why school buses are being equipped with video cameras to help kids like me stay safe. So respect the bus. The pain will not control us. It will never break us, define us, or keep us still. Because arthritis can't beat us if we beat it first. In the fight against arthritis, you need a weapon. What's yours? Visit the Arthritis Foundation at fightarthritispain.org. Welcome back to Seniors Today. I'm Michael Bruin, sitting in for Austin Heyman. 
My next guest is actually a team of guests. It's Helen Abrams, who used to develop programs for the county senior centers. Her daughter, Jenny Abrams Flax, and her and her daughter, Sarah. And we have all three. We have three generational stages here. So, how are you, Sarah? Good. So uh, before the show, I was asking, what do you call what do you call this woman? G. Big boy. G. G. Mm -hmm. Grandma G. Why do you call me G? Uh, because it stands for grandma. It stands for grandma. <laughs> You're creative. How old are you now? Nine. You're nine. Okay, I'm not going to ask your mom how old she is. <laughs> She's only 12. <laughs> She's 21. <laughs> You know, it's amazing. <laughs> amazing. We're, you know, how did you how did you get here when she's only twenty one? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me start. Let me start with the G, with yes. Grandma. So, you used to. We just thought it would be fun to talk about intergenerational things and actually have a group that does it. And you guys are really pretty connected. But first, you live here in the county. I live here in Montgomery you County. You spent all this time developing programs for, for seniors. For the past fifty years, and for the past thirty some odd years, I developed programs for Montgomery County at the local senior centers like Law Day for Older Adults, Coming to Your Senses, Dating After 50, all those g great things. And now I do it on a familial level. Exactly. <laughs> and you're, and you're quasi-retired. Quasi. You're I retired work from the county, but yes. you're, you're still very busy with exactly. a number of things. I work part-time and I start, try to stay out of trouble. Oh, good <laughs> luck with that, Helen. <laughs> good luck with that. Jenny, you, uh, you're a local person. You I grew up here, here yep, I grew but up you here. live up in Manhattan now? I do. I live in New York City with my husband and two fabulous children. And, uh, mm -hmm. But we get back here quite often. It's fun to get out of the city and get a little nature and come yes. back to Montgomery County, right? Yeah. And you, Helen, go up quite oh, frequently. Um, you and Howie, yes. you know, my, my in remembering and I Howard. always went up um, on the Vamoose bus, uh -huh. and a uh, little plug for Vamoose. Uh, right into Manhattan, and then we would go to, or we, uh, I still go. My husband passed away a few years ago, but he so enjoyed being there also. And, um, you know, Michael, Michael knew him, and he was a, a great guy. He was wonderful. And we call him Pa, right? Mm -hmm. Pa, G yeah. and Pa. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm up there a lot, but mostly there down here. Yeah. You guys actually do come down a bit. Now, you're, do. you're yeah. in a creative business as well. I do. I started my own business about 12 years ago. I started Piece of Cake Parties, mm -hmm. and we specialize in custom parties for all sorts of clients all over New York City. Uh -huh. um, and they have Yep, in the Hamptons, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Sarah often acts as my junior party planner, right? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Exactly. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. I draw on all the things my mom taught me about planning a fabulous event. And, and just you remember them. And now I do them in New York City. <laughs> you, should, yeah. you should get like a fee for that or something. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It's your daughter. And you're a beautiful singer, I have to say. You've thank got some you great very much. Pipes, thank so. you, thank you. And Sarah, you're nine, so what grade is that? Fourth. You're in fourth grade, mm -hmm. yeah, in Manhattan, I assume, yes, somewhere. Yes. Far from home or pretty close? Pretty close, kind of. And what kinds of things, talking about, all right, this is grandparenting. So we've done the who you guys are. So what? how do you grandparent, G? Uh, the best. What can <laughs> the I tell best. you? The best grandparent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is a plethora, I love that word of things to do in Montgomery County or right near Montgomery County. We were at the museum that's at the basement of the Davis Library, which the is kid called museum. The, the Kid, kid museum. museum, the other day. I didn't know it existed. Yeah. Somebody told me it about it. It is fantastic. Did There's you like it, Sarah? Uh, there well, was woodworking. You could learn about sound. Mm. You could do crafts, uh, little workshops. And it was really fun. That, neat. And what, el what other kinds of things do you like to do with Jay? We go to parks sometimes. You like to go to parks? Yeah. Uh, we have adventures. Yes, we have lots of adventures. Uh -huh. Without a D. <laughs> and you have a brother, Jack. Yes, I do. Who was a little shy. He didn't want to be on, but he's yes. here in the studio. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you ever get time just you alone with Jay? Sometimes Some, I do. Do you guys try to do that? Helen, sometimes. is that? Yes, we do. And. Um, what we love to do is talk over, you know, the problems of or the challenges of being 
a 74 year old versus a nine year old uh -huh. so we talk about the issues involved in each thing um, and um, we also like to go shopping yes. it's one of our favorite oh sports dear. why is that not a surprise uh. <laughs> <laughs> well and I was just speaking of you know such an age difference you, do you does your does she talk to you about some of her memories of growing up when she was younger? Yeah, sometimes. And is it different than your memories of growing up? Yes, definitely. Really? And well, then some so of them are similar. Some similar? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. That would some be a great thing to do with kids. But you guys, I have to say, part of it is uh, my parents live in the Washington, D.C. area, so my son, it was convenient to visit them you know, it's a it's a big distance, Jenny. It's at least it's worth four it though. We come hours. down, and I, I think we always like we like to get our nature on, right? We go to the Bethesda Trolley yeah. Trail, right? So Sometimes we walk down the trail. Sometimes we'll go right behind G's house. Right behind G's house. There's a creek nature. behind G's house that we and like a to. Pool. A creek, something you never see in Manhattan. Yes, we don't correct? have creeks in Manhattan. <laughs> no, we don't. So no. yes, we are to the <laughs> creek <laughs> behind G's we house. We have the yes. sewers overflowing. <laughs> 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 I live 59th and 9th, I can say that. So, uh, um, but yeah, we like to come here yeah. and, uh, and see a little nature, right? Mm -hmm. Can exactly. I just put in one, one thing? Yes. Montgomery County is a great place to be to take the kids around nature, um, of course shopping, everything, you, you name it. But the thing is you really have to make an effort when people live out of town to come together to do things together, to make memories together. So important to do that and not to, you know, lose touch. Right. So I'm a firm believer do in Do you that. text? We do text and we email uh -huh. and we scream a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we do. You do not. The phone. The phone. She, the phone. she does not. The phone. No, never scream. She never scream. Just beat the children, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they take care of you, you know, yeah. they're going to take care Right. Of you. They're going to choose my nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. I doubt that. <laughs> well, listen, I know you're down visiting. I could say it was great for you to come all the way down here <laughs> for a 38 minute show, but you, you are well, visiting you right now, us. so yes. you're walking the talk. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Sarah, thank you for being on. Thank you for having you're, me. Well, you're wonderful to come on and talk about your grandma. Helen, you, what do I say? I don't know. Well, <laughs> Thank you for your time. Michael, 30 years we've known Michael, it's been a pleasure. It's always, yeah. it, it never never ends to be fun. Uh -huh. No, I agree. But you're a real inspiration. You did a lot of great programs while you well. were here. And I'm, I'm glad that you're spending time with Sarah and with Jack. That's my pleasure. And Jenny and <laughs> your son, Michael. But thank you guys for being on. Thank you guys for being on. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, that's it for this month's Seniors Today. Don't forget that you can access a great deal of information about county services for seniors by going to the Montgomery County website at www.montgomerycounty.gov seniors or call the Senior Resource Line at 240-777-3000. And as always, thank you for watching Seniors Today. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified. Not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who take action are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making home affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. Visit aarp.org caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who wants to care of you.